hello Sagittarius and welcome to your full moon in Libra card reading. So uh, the full moon is projected to be the fullest <laughs> on the 7th and 8th of April. And so 8-8 eight, eight is an 8. April is an 8 universal month. So April is the fourth month of the year and we are in a four universal year. So four plus four is eight. Eight is the number of abundance. Uh, it's the number of infinity. Um, <laughs> it's it's the number of Brandy. I don't know what her life path number is because uh, I don't know her birth date because when I got her from the shelter, they didn't know when she was born. So um, anywho, <laughs> so uh, this is, this is a time of collective liberation. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the ether. There's a lot of things going on in the collective and, um, Libra is all about the balance, right? Um, the scales trying to balance the options, weigh the options, make sure that things are fair, balanced, equitable. Um, and when we are not free of something, like when something is weighing us down, um, you know, it, it becomes really hard for us to escape it. You know, like we're too high off the ground, the things that are holding us back are too heavy. So this is really a time of balancing of liberation um, to, you know, kind of um, offload those things that we hold against ourselves and like really kind of allow ourselves some forgiveness during this time. So um, I have pulled cards for you from um, the Happy Tarot. I pulled one healing mantra card from this deck. So um, that'll be something that you're being invited to kind of release, heal, let go of. And then I've also pulled a card for encouragement from the super attractor deck. Um, I'm gonna try to put these over here. Hopefully it doesn't smush Brandy. She's, oops, <laughs> she's taking a nap. Okay, so the first card I have pulled for you Sagittarius is, ooh, the devil card. So. <laughs> what is holding you back? What is kind of, what has you chained down? What's kind of luring you back into maybe a lower vibration place? Um, what do you feel like you just can't get away from that you don't want to deal with anymore? Um, if you just can take some time to think about this, it's really going to become clear to you what you need to seek liberation from. Um, and, you know, the, the devil card is really, uh, it's a card of temptation. Um, the interesting thing about this card is that these two people look like they are shackled to, you know, this kind of throne or post. But in the traditional tarot, the, um, the necklaces, the shackles around their necks are very large and at any time they can take them off. And this imagery is similar here because as we see like with these people, like their hands aren't cuffed. We can't see if the shackles are locked in the back, but their hands are free. So they have the option to kind of reach back and remove those shackles and break free. Um, but what this card reminds us about is that, you know, there's something that we're giving our power away to. So maybe it's a bad habit. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's some form of temptation that we are allowing ourselves to be prisoner to that we are being invited to see that we have the power to break away from, to leave, to um, escape from. So that was the first card of the Happy Tarot that I pulled for you. And the next card is Ten of Swords. And so this card, um, it's really not one of the favorites in the tarot. A lot of people don't care for this card because of how it looks. You know, this person's face down and they've got Ten Swords in their back, um, but they do have a little buddy here that's like, whoa, are you okay? <laughs> um, but, you know, we have a tendency as human beings to focus on like this negativity. And this card is really about the positive things here, like the sun that's coming up. This symbolizes the end of something. Also, the 10 is the last card in the number of swords cards. After that, we have the court cards. And so this card has a message that like whatever difficult things you've been dealing with, whatever temptations or obstacles or kind of victim-y feelings you had, those things are coming to an end, you know, and that 
the worst of it has happened. And once we hit rock bottom, the only place we can go is up. So this is a really positive card that, you know, once you figure out how to get away from this, how to break free, break the chains from this, um, it, it, it will be kind of difficult, but that's the last of the difficulties. You know, good things are coming. So the healing message that I have for you is dissolving judgments. And so um, the imagery of this is just so neat. They're like little bubbles that turn into hearts. You can see the little hearts at the top. And, you know, just there might be some things that you judge yourself for. I mean, all of us do. You know what I mean? That's part of being a human being. That's part of living in the society and the culture that we live in. There's so much judgment and there's so much permission to judge and encouragement to judge. Um, if you can just kind of be aware of the things that you are judging yourself for or you know the judgments you're holding against yourself um awareness is such a catalyst for change that once you become aware of those things it's easier to kind of let them float up and away so the healing message for this um healing mantra card is i don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey so a big part of this is my journey so whatever people like do in response to your journey, whatever people say in response to your journey, whatever actions people take in response to your journey, that doesn't have anything to do with you. And, you know, by just understanding that their judgments are their own, their actions are their own. Um, if you're holding judgment against them, this is a really great time to just allow that judgment to kind of dissolve. But everything is about your journey. So your focus is about your journey. You know, dissolving your judgments is about what's in the highest good of your journey. And that the actions and words of other people have nothing to do with your journey. So that's your healing message. The super attractor card that I pulled for you is true manifestations are powered by service and love. And so you are being encouraged to um, really just kind of Think about, you know, what is it that you want to manifest and how can you be of service to others, you know, and sometimes when we think about being in service to others, um, it looks like figuring out how to do something for people or how to give something to people or how to make something easier for people. And we can serve in lots of ways. You know, we can serve by supporting people. You know, you might go through your work of dissolving your judgments and we you know, hopefully head back to work soon and you have a conversation with someone where you realize they're really, really judging themselves very heavily. And the way that you serve might be by sharing like, hey, I really struggled with that. And like, if you want to talk about it, let me know if you would like to know what worked for me. I'm more than happy to share you because uh, to share you to share with you, because that's also a way that we can love people. You know, um, I think we are learning now that like, the way that we love people has nothing to do with like romance or physicality or even intimacy that, um, you know, an act of love can be holding a door open for someone. An act of love can be helping someone carry their groceries out. An act of love can be just saying something nice about what someone's wearing, that you really like their scarf or that their hair looks nice today or that color looks great on them. Um, so just understanding that, you know, you have the Billy, the Billy, you have the ability to partake in true manifestation um, and that those things that you really, really deeply want to manifest are powered by, you know, um, service and love, your ability to serve and your ability to love. So um, Sagittarius, I hope that you have a lovely full moon in Libra. I hope that you are able to find some healthy balance that you can release the things that are holding you back because you guys are, you know, you're the archer, you're the arrow, you're all about forward movement and um, you got things to do and places to go, you know, especially as soon as this uh, quarantine stuff is done. I'm sure you guys are going to be traveling like crazy. I don't blame you. Um, but yeah, I hope that message was helpful for you and that it was healing and that um, it was encouraging and that you have a great full moon and I will see you later. Bye.